Hello everyone, you can call me Trails and welcome to the 19th episode of Clue Scroll Only Iron Man. First of all, thank you so incredibly much for 1.4k subscribers right now. It's pretty insane that we grew about 500 subscribers since last episode. For some reason, I'm back here at Puro Puro. You'll see that later this episode. And I hope you're ready for the first big grind of this account. Hope you enjoy. Yes, there we go. That's a clue that I needed. I'm going to train a bit of fletching because for this clue I can make a maple longbow. And a maple longbow is, let's see, 55 fletching. I've got a couple of darts here in my bank. Where are they? Right here, 12k mithril darts. So we might actually get the level with that already. Well, I didn't really calculate this one. Uh, <laughs> so let's just train fletching the old-fashioned way, do a bit of woodcutting, make some long bows, short bows, whatever. That way we're gonna gain some total levels, we're getting a bit closer to 1000 total, so let's go. So I got a bird nest with a clue inside of it. Let's hope... Oh, it just says what it is. It says it's an elite clue. Oh, alright. I'm actually going to throw this to you guys. I was planning on when I did about 100 hard clues, I just mix in elite clues together with the hard clues. So when do you guys think I should open this? Just leave it in the comments down below and we'll see. Because 300 hard clues is one hell of a grind, so I thought I'd switch it up. The moment I hit 100 hard clues, I'm just going to throw a couple of elites in between. Let me know what you guys think. There we go, first little milestone is in. That is 50 wood cutting and 40 fletching at the moment. Yes, there we go, glue scroll nest hard. That's how I'm gonna get my hard glue scrolls. I guess I'm just gonna get them from everywhere. From everywhere and nowhere. Now we got them out of wood cutting. Hopefully soon we get a fishing requirement. Maybe we get it out of fishing, I don't know. But this is, it's actually going pretty solidly. Right now we have 56 wood cutting and 45 fletching. It's going pretty well, but let's try and get this glue scroll out of the way. Hey, this clue probably doesn't ring a bell for you guys but this means I have to talk to the fairy queen and for that I need the lost city quest. Now that is a quest that is incredibly useful for me because now I can go to Xenaris and I don't have to search crop circles to get to pure puro anymore. Lost city is also an incredibly fast quest so I'm actually really close to the quest start too. Let's do this. There we go that is the lost city quest completed and let's get the clue done real quick. Hello can I please get my puzzle? Oh no the fairy resistance hideout. That might actually be... Oh crap. Oh god. That means we have to complete Fairy Tale Part 2. Okay, so for Fairy Tale Part 2, we actually need 49 farming. And 57 herb lore. Holy shit. Well guys, I guess it's time for a grind. 49 farming, 57 herb lore. Let's go. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best around. No one's ever gonna keep you down. You're what the, the fuck is he doing? Hey, there we go, a new little milestone, 50 fletching. We can now start chopping or knifing our maple logs into short bows. Okay, now we can switch over to our mithril darts. Let's see how fast this is gonna go. There we go, that's 55. Whoa, that took about two minutes. So, uh, this is incredibly OP. 3,880 darts. 55 fletching, let's get that one woodcutting level. Hey, we did it, that is 4 million total experience. And I'm actually going to stop woodcutting right now because I need 1.7k more experience and I just realized that I can't get 60 woodcutting because I don't need yew trees for the clue. I only need maples, so I can't get that. Probably a couple of you guys are probably going to be really furious that it's not a round number, <laughs> but I'm really sorry. By the way, I got an easy clue here from uh, the trees, so I'm actually going to do this one real quick. Well, that was only a two-step clue. What are we hoping for? We're hoping for the golden chef's hat, a special team cape, or the golden apron, or a black heraldic shield. I don't think I have that one yet. That's pretty decent. So uh, I'm doing fairy tale part one, and you need about three special items to give to the nature spirit. No need to panic, I can just get 10 agility tickets from the Brimhaven agility course here and then buy myself a couple of snapdragons. And it was actually pretty fun, I actually did enjoy this type of agility training. That's my 10 snap... my 10 snapdragons, I mean my one snapdragon I need. Now to get my super compost and my Valencia moss, my Valencia moss should be down here, right above Shallow Village, so that's pretty handy. While I'm waiting for my super compost to complete, I guess, I <laughs> complete another medium casket, hopefully we get something decent. Nope, let's head over to Falador and collect our super compost. And that's fairy tale part one completed. Let's see what our farming level is after this quest. 18, that's a decent start. I can actually start planting oak trees. I have four acorns or three acorns or something, which could get me all the way up to level 20 already. Maybe even more because twee, twee ones 
because we ones are very good. Right, so I've been farming a bit with the seeds I had left over in my bank and we've got 25 farming, which is a pretty decent milestone because now we have enough farming to do the Garden of Tranquility quest which only gives farming XP, so that means we can actually do it. It gives 5k farming XP and gives a bunch of decent seeds. We're far from 48 and we're very far from 53 herb lore. But you know what? It's motivating to start a new skill and it's incredibly fun. There we go, that is Garden of Tranquility done. Hopefully we get about 30 farming. Yes, 30 on the dot. That is beautiful. We can now grow willow trees so we can start doing three runs. If I have enough seeds, probably not. All right, we're trying to get a head start here on the farming and herb lore grind, but phew, my god, it's going to be one hell of a grind. All right, we're about to hit our very first farming milestone. 32 farming, I can now grow Raynar weeds, which is pretty insane because we'll need that for prayer potions in the future. Right now I'm growing Harlanders. I'm probably going to do that for one other run because my herb lore is... Probably not going to be able to keep up with my farming. No, I just skipped the dialogue. I'm an idiot. But, oh, it's still in the in the chat box. All right. As an Iron Man with a skill total of 1,000, you may ask the Iron Man tutor in... Anyways, the big accomplishment here is 1,000 total level, which is pretty incredible. I'm not going to get 30 herb lore, though. That's unfortunate. Oh, y yes, I am. 30 herb lore to finish it off. That is beautiful. We have got 56... Total energy potions. Fair enough, I just got the fucking joke. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I've got an easy casket and a medium casket here while we're waiting for our crops to grow. Because the farming herb lore grind is gonna take a while. Anyways, easy casket is a black play buddy. I needed the black play buddy for that clue. Needed to buy it, so I got that back, I guess. And another Emmy of Strength T, the one millionth. I actually wanted to do these clues for law runes, but... These are all Lawrence I have left. Another nice farming milestone coming in. I can now plant the Toad Flax Herb. 38 farming. This is going pretty decently, actually. I think I might actually plant my first Raynar Seed on the next trip. Right now I'm completing medium clues to just wait for my farm crops to grow. The thing I'm thinking about is there is a new medium clue requirement uh, where you need mithril boots. Now for mithril boots you need to kill jellies which is 56 or 58 slayer. Now if I can get that, well, I can actually, where is it? 52 Slayer, all right. If I can get that, I can get Slayer content, which would be great because now the grind for the herb lore in the farming level is not really any content, so I'm just going to grind out a couple of medium clues and hopefully get the mithril boot requirement. Okay, anyways, this chest is triple unique ancient page one. I don't think I have that one. Number one, nope, that's a dupe, unfortunately. At the moment, I can't care less about the caskets, actually. <laughs> I just want the medium clue step of the mithril boots, but we'll open it. And it is a welcomed 11k, to be honest. Now what I'm going to do real quick is going to pickpocket a couple of monster farmers here. It, I'll get a couple of thieving levels, hopefully, maybe get 60. I know it's not for the clue or anything, but I need to get seeds for my farming, right? So please tell me this is the last one. Should be... great, please. Oh, yes. So because we're doing monster farmers right now, I decided to get the full rogue outfit so we get double seeds. Now make sure I click the right thing. There we go, we got the full outfit. We look beautiful, as always. And now we get double seeds from monster farmers. Let's first do a farm run and then get a crap load of seeds. Moment of truth, I'm planting my very first Renar seed. Hopefully it doesn't die. Oh, what are you doing? Bob, I don't do your randoms. Oh, it's not the fishing one. Okay, let's go. Yo, Pete just hooked me up with four grimy snapdragons. That's not even too bad. Oh, beautiful casket. No fucking bullshit. I don't want crates. I want the mithril boots required. Hang on. Oh, we already got that book, right? Sha. But I need the swordfish, so I'll take that. <sighs> got two caskets again, which means I didn't get the clue requirement, but easy casket, medium casket. Ooh, that's a new unique. That is the green leprechaun hat. <laughs> Uh, the fact that we're doing medium clues again and we're getting uniques is pretty pretty weird, but uh, where's the collection log? Here we go. So the that is a unique Where are we, where are we gonna put it now? I have to rearrange the whole bank again. Oh shit. All right, lads Unfortunately, I got another casket. Let's see what we get. Uh, that is a new unique Hosidius banner And this is a pretty cool look better. Wait, I gotta wear it for a second. Damn Look at that Look at that. That's actually pretty f Fancy! Shout out to Time Fades M16 in the comments. 
I'll see you, buddy. Thanks so much for watching. And everyone else who PM'd me today for that fact. I've gotten a lot of PMs. It's great to hear you guys. I talk to you guys in game. So make sure if you want to ask something, you can do that in the comments of this video, or you can also do it in game. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here he is. Here he is. Here he is. Hey, buddy. Thank you so much for the watermelon seeds. I'm going to use them real soon. No, my first Raynar seeds died. Please, please come back to life. Please, I do anything. Why? Why? Oh my god. Two out of four? Really? I think my main plan for Herblore is just grow a shit ton of Arlanders because the secondary, the chocolate dust, is actually really easy to get. Unless the Toad Flax potion is incredibly easy to get. Well, actually, Toad Legs, they actually are very easy to get. So I'm actually going to plant Toad Flax. The problem is I don't have super compost right now because I'm lazy and it's still rotting. Wow, <laughs> shout out to Razgat. Um, so I might as well just plant these Herolanders because I've got plenty of seeds and get this Toad Flags when I get super compost. Almost 40 farming and 30 herb lore still. Hey, I didn't really expect this level, just doing a farm room. Level 40 farming right now and no one locks at all. <laughs> all right. Meanwhile, I keep getting caskets and not the clue step I want. I guess that's not unique. <laughs> it is, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm trying to get content for you guys. I need the Slayer grind, otherwise the farming Herblore grind is going to last three episodes. And that's not really interesting. So I'm really trying to get content for you guys. <laughs> but I guess this is content two. We're just going back to mediums. Really not planning on keeping it that way, but... So yeah, I'm gonna keep running around here at Puro Puro until I get the medium clue step that we need. The thing why I'm so dedicated to get the Slayer grind is because the Herblore farming grind is going to take another 2-3 weeks. Now if I get a Slayer grind till 52, that's also going to take about 2-3 weeks. So we can switch up the content with Slayer, Farming, Herblore. That'd be great. And we'll probably be finished with boat grinds about at the same time. So that's why it would be ideal and that's why I'm so dead set on getting that clue requirement. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode will be episode 20, which is pretty incredible. 20 weeks of the Clue Scroll Only Iron Man. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? This is only getting better. I <laughs> hope to see you guys next Tuesday. I upload every single Tuesday. Forgot to say that last episode. So see you next week.